a little bit of bass players. So we're going to go over the C major scale right now. Um, you'll, you'll remember last time we went over the D major scale, which is uh, starts on an open D and it goes up to a D. And that's what that's why it's called D major, right? So we have here, you have your D, E, F sharp, G, O, B, C sharp, and then a high D. Okay? So the thing is, you want to make sure there's two black keys you're hitting when you, when you do the uh, D major scale. F sharp and C sharp. So D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, right? But when we go to the C major, you'll notice it starts on a C and it goes up to a C, right? C naturals. There's no sharp sharps in the scale at all. It's all naturals. Which means you don't touch any of the black keys. There's only white keys, okay? Um, so I'll show you right here. This is the C major scale, a one octave C major scale. We'll call it one octave because there's... Um, eight notes, like an octopus has eight uh, tentacles, an octagon has eight size, sides, well an octave has eight notes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Um, and so the first note is actually, it's a it's second finger on the, on the A string, right? Is our lowest C, and I'll show you how to play that in a minute, but two, and then we go to our open D is the next note. So C, D, E is one, F two, right? We're not going to do four on the D string because that would be F sharp. We want to use our second finger. So instead of going four down on the D string, we just want two down. And I'll show you that in a minute. So we have C, D, E, F two, right? After that F, we go to open G. G, A, B is two, and then C. Now, one more thing. We have open G, A. That's easy, right? Open one on the G string. Open one, right? Solo, first finger is A, but then I have this little dash here, and that dash means you have to shift. I'm going to show you what a shift is, but it's basically when you take your thumb and your fingers and you just drop down about an inch down the neck, and, and so, you're, so you're going to go G, A, G, A, and then you drop your hand down, two, four, for a B and a C natural, okay? We don't, we want to make sure, don't play a C sharp here. Okay, a C sharp is where we put our second finger usually for a, for a, um, and then a high D. I'll show you right now on the bass. So, again, let's separate. Remember, one octave is, uh, is, is eight notes, so let's separate into four notes. The first four notes are easy, right? So a C with two, and then D, E, F natural. Hopefully you guys can see that. One more time. C, D, E, and F natural. See the fingering there? Do it one more time. That's two. Open, one, and then two. Okay. Then that, the next, so that's C, D, E, F. F natural. Right? We're not going to do four because that would be F sharp. C, D, E, F. The next four notes are G, A, right? G, A. That's easy, right? But now, watch my pinky. My pinky's on a B, right? But instead of putting my, uh, instead of playing the B with the second, with the fourth finger, you're gonna play that same spot, but you're gonna bring your second finger to where the fourth finger was, and that's a B and a C. Okay, so G A and then shift B C. So G A and instead of putting your fourth finger down, you're just gonna drop your thumb and your hand down and your elbow too. This elbow right here. B C. Makes sense. Um, so it's it's uh, just a one octave scale. C D E F G A shift B C down is B C B A G F E B C. Let me see if I can grab. Should have had my bow ready, guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. Here's my bow. I'll play it with you. If you like to play it along with me. C major scale, no sharps, all naturals, right? So we have here. G major scale. We can do two octaves for the G major scale. All right. Um, so I hope that makes sense. That B C at the top is just two four two four. That excellent guys.
guys. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye now.